I am Anil Kumar in this particular video with the help of seven multiple choice questions we are going to understand Ferris wheel application. The question here is the height of a basket on a Ferris wheel is modeled by h of t equals to 20 minus 18 sine of 2 pi over 3 t minus 1 where h of t is the height above the ground in meters and t is time in minutes. Now based on this we have seven different questions. Here is question number one. It says how much time will the basket take for three full rotations? Four choices are given to you. Now let us see how to find time period and then we will know the answer for this question also. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question and be ready that we'll have seven questions based on this equation. Okay, so if the equation is as given, what is the time period t? Now time period is defined as 2 pi by k value and in this case k is 2 pi by 3. So we get 2 pi by 2 pi by 3 so that is equals to 3 and time is in minutes. Now read the question. How much time will the basket take for three full rotations? One rotation in three minutes. So three in nine minutes. So that is the solution for the very first question. Let's move on and see the next one. Well, the top part is same. We are again talking about the same basket whose equation is given by h of t equals to 20 minus 18 sine 2 pi by 3 times t minus 1. The question now is, when will the basket reach its maximum height? Now this is very critical. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let me sketch this and then we'll discuss it further. It will help us to understand rest of the answers also. So basically we have a sine function. Negative means it starts from kind of like this, right? And 20 means that it is 20 meters above. That's the axis of this particular thing. So, so we can draw the axis. Uh, let us say, uh, let us say this is the axis now. Okay, so this axis is at 20 meters and we're looking for a sine wave. I will actually prefer to sketch it in two parts, one with phase shift, one without phase shift. So with phase shift, without phase shift first, minus means it goes down first and uh, kind of like this, right? Where the time period is, as we saw, three minutes. So this is three minutes. The phase shift is of one minute, right? So this is like 1.5. So here it is 0 0.75, right? High, half of 1.5. Now it has shifted one unit to the right. That means the final position should be where? So the final position of this graph should be at, let me move it by one minute so it'll end at four minutes right so let us say that one minute is around here so we'll kind of i'll just sketch one rough one right like this and so it ends at four minutes is it okay and starts at one so that becomes our sine wave and uh, let's figure out what is the maximum and minimum for this now this particular sketch is going to help us answer all other questions also right so, so the maximum will be 20 plus 18, which is 38. And the minimum is going to be 20 minus 18, which is 2. The units are in meters. We'll write h of t in meters. Here we have time in minutes. Correct? Now, when will the basket reach its maximum height? So as you can see from here, the maximum height is reached right there, right? So normally, since it is moving like this, negative first, all these points are at a distance of quarter of a cycle, 
Now this quarter of a cycle here is t by 4, right? Now t by 4 plus 1 gives me this position. Time period being 3 for us. So the time t when we see this maximum is going to be quarter of the cycle which is 3 over 4 right t is the time period 3 over 4 right that is quarter of the cycle each is t over 4 this is 3 t over 4 I'm sorry so 3 times 3 that is the position plus 1 since it is shifted by 1 unit on the right so plus 1 that becomes the time of maximum height this time correct so it is 9 over 4 plus 1 or 13 over 4 minutes that is our answer so option D is the right option so even when you sketch it you know it is more than 3 that is your answer so that is kind of a hint and here is an explanation I hope it is very clear as this could be causing confusion to some students okay now let's move on to the next question which is question number three for us so we are again talking about the same basket same equation the question is what is the maximum height of the basket so you know maximum height is 20 plus 18 which is 38 okay so that 38 is uh, is not an option here I think there is a typing error this should have been 38 right so so I made this as 38 meters so from the axis of 20 it can go 18 above right so that makes it 38 option C is the right option the next question here is when will the basket be 20 meters above the ground so we want the height to be equals to 20 the equation is 20 minus 18 sine of something which is 2 pi by 3 times t minus 1 right since we want this to be 20 right in that case this part should be equal to 0 right now when can this be 0 it can be 0 when sine is 0 so at t equals to 1 it is going to be 0 so that is our answer the next question here is find the height of the basket ab after 75 seconds so basically we have to substitute t with 75 seconds but remember time is in minutes so we have to divide 75 by 60 now this is very important to do right so divide 75 by 60 plug it in here and calculate the answer so so you could do it approximately 75 means one full and then 15 right so it is one quarter so it is 1.25 you see how we get it right so 75 seconds means you go one full cycle right so like this one full and then then 15 right 60 plus 15 so that is a quarter so we could write this as 1.25 or also as uh, 1 1 over 4 either way right or you could write 5 over 4 right so so these are different ways when you can write this particular thing right okay now let's figure out how to find the height now this test is without calculator that is most important and that is why we're trying to figure out the best way of writing it so we have 20 minus 18 sine of 2 pi by 3 and it is t t is this 5 over 4 now fractions is actually good to write when the calculator is not allowed it helps you to easily figure out the answers uh, you'll see it how so we have 2 pi by 3 decimal values are not easy to work with now this gives me 5 minus 4 over 4 that means it is times 1 over 4 right now this part can be simplified and we could write this as 20 minus 18 sine of so so let me just simplify this so that goes two times so we are left with pi over 6 so we get sine pi over 6 now what is sine pi over 6 well special triangle okay so this is the special triangle where let us say if this is 
90 degrees this is pi by 3 uh, I prefer to use this triangle and the sides are 1 2 square root 3 right so sine pi by 6 is half right sine pi by 6 is half so we could write this as 20 minus 18 times half which is 20 minus 9 and that gives you a value of 11 so part C is the right option so I hope all these calculations are clear you could have written as 1.25 you'll get quarter here which is 1 over 4 and then also you could have done the same thing but you'll soon realize that working with fractions is easier calculations uh, the next question the second last question here is distance traveled by the basket in two minutes is now we know time period is is how much is three minutes right so in three minutes it travels two pi r two pi r radius is, is how much well the radius for this is 18 right that is the radius so it travels 2 pi times 18 in 3 minutes we want to know how much travels in 2 minutes so in 1 minute it is going to travel let me write this as 36 pi and in 2 minutes it is going to travel twice right so 36 pi times 2 which gives us so so 2 pi r in this so 36 pi in one minute it is 36 pi over 3 I'm sorry and then it will be this divided by 3 right so which gives us 12 pi times 2 and which is 24 pi correct so the answer is C which is 24 pi so in three minutes it travels 36 pi let me write here 36 pi in one minute 36 pi divided by 3 which is which is 12 pi and then in two minutes 12 times 2 which is 24 perfect so it travels so much and the units are going to be meters as mentioned here now the last question here is the angular velocity of the basket is how much now what we have realized is time t is three minutes right that means one revolution in three minutes one revolution is two pi right so that is the radians you can say radians two pi radius in time taken is three minutes now whenever we're trying to say angular velocity as you can say the units are radians per second so we don't want minutes here so let's convert minute to seconds so we have minute divided by 60 seconds so here minutes and minutes cancel you can simplify this that two goes 30 times and so what we get here is pi radians over 90 seconds right so pi by 90 radians per second is just the right choice so with that, we complete this video on understanding the equation of Ferris wheel. And I hope it helps you to get the whole picture about the sketch, about the time period, phase shift, amplitude, and uh, angular velocity. Thanks for watching. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thank you and all the best.